How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm here with another video. Uh, we got the new skillet here. It's called Red Copper. Uh, these skillets have to be seasoned uh, between once and twice a year. They recommend them to be seasoned twice a year. Um, so we're going to season this skillet and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Okay, when you get your skillet, it's going to have the directions, which is very simple and easy to go by. So the only thing we got to do right now is we're going to get some vegetable oil, and we're going to do a very, very light coat of oil on it. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Now, while we're putting the oil on here, we have the oven. It's on 300 degrees. We're going to let that preheat. And we're going to put a real light coat of oil on this. We don't want a lot of oil on here, just enough just to coat it. Not a big bunch. You put too much on here, it's going to make your skillet really, really sticky. So now we got a nice light coat of oil on here. And by the way, this is called seasoning your skillet. Okay, now all we got to do is get this thing put in the oven. Now it's going to stay in the oven for about 20 minutes. Alright, we're going to get this in the oven. We're going to let that set in there for 20 minutes. We'll get a timer set. Okay, our skillet is done. I'm going to get in here and get it out. We're just going to set it on top of the stove and let it cool. Now we're going to let it sit there and cool off, and then we're going to give it a try. We're going to see how this thing works. Alright, I let that cool all the way down. Now I got it on the burner, starting to heat it back up. We're going to throw egg in there, and we're not going to put any spray or anything in this thing. We're just going to put the egg in it. Now we're going to let it cook, and we're going to see if that egg sticks to this skillet. Got to do a little bit of salt and pepper on it. Well, I guess it does slide around in there. Okay, we'll try this side. I guess the skillet's going to do what it says it does. Hang on. Okay, I wanted to let you guys know, you probably don't want to use any real hard spatula on there. Just use something plastic, something that's not really that hard. Now, we're going to do the cheese test. We see them do it on TV, so we're going to do the same one. So, let's see what happens to this cheese. We're going to let that thing sit in there until it burns. Nice and dark. Give this a little bit of time and then uh, we'll get you guys back. Almost all the cheese in the middle is almost all melted. You can see the ends are starting to get pretty dark right now. So we're going to let her go a little longer. I just wonder if it'll move in the skillet. Look at that. It actually moves in the skillet so we know it's not stuck in there. For those of you that like crispy cheese, this is some crispy cheese. Let's see what happens if I try to turn it over. See what's on the other side. <laughs> cheese omelet. That's definitely a cheese omelet. Well, it's not sticking. As you can see, that thing just rolling right around in the skillet, no problem at all. And it's sticky. Well. It burns cheese and don't stick. Alright, I just took a paper towel and wiped it right back out and it's as clean as it was when I started cooking in it. So I guess it'll do what they say it'll do. It seemed to cook very well. Nothing stuck in there. So we'll see over time what happens to the skillet. And maybe we'll do another review or something on it. 
Well, I hope this helps some of you guys out that are wanting to go get one of these skillets. It's the red copper skillet. It seems to work pretty good. If I was to, you know, I'd give it a thumbs up. You've seen the cheese. I rolled it over. It didn't stick. It did exactly what they said it would do. So I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.